Hello and welcome to this episode of T-Tech. On today's episode, we're going to set up an IRC server on FreeBSD. So let's log in as root. And the only things I've done to the server is set up a static IP here on EM0, uh, 192.168.0.253 there. Let's install the package management tool first. All right, now we're going to package install inspa ircd that is the irc server package i'm going to use after installing that go into rcconf and let's go ahead and enable this on boot just like that <coughs> and now we're going to go into let's copy first let's actually go there use your local etsy uh, inspa ircd Let's copy inspa.conf to a backup. Let's remove the original and let's remake this one here. Now, this is in uh, XML format. So as long as you get uh, the package, the Inspire CD program for your OS, the configuration is universal. So we're going to do bind first and this is telling it what interfaces on this system to do a bind socket call on. So in this case, I can type out um, the IP address I want to use like that, and that makes it bind to one interface. Um, what I'm going to do though, um, to make it simpler, is just do a star um, or an asterisk. That means any interface essentially. Now we're gonna say port, and this is gonna equal 6,667 and then we're going to say type equals clients and then have a bracket to end it. Do make sure you have your quotes around these and um, this is the standard port for plain text IRC internet relay chat but um, you can also have other ports like 6697 where you would run TLS so TLS or SSL on this um, we're not gonna worry about that today just plain text but from here we're gonna say admin and this is the administrative contact for the server and then his Nick so this is essentially your screen name on IRC and um, if you if you're old enough to remember AIM and Yahoo Messenger and things like that it's synonymous with that but IRC predates all of that, including social media. So <clears throat> that's what the nick means. And under email, I'm just going to put a fake uh, test one here. Again, if you're actually doing this in production, put a reachable domain so you have an admin contact. But um, that's your admin. And now we're going to say server. We're going to say name of the server. This is the IRC specific stuff for the clients that connect. And then the network on IRC. All right. And there we go. Now we should be able to save this file. And now we should be able to do service, inspire CD, start. We should be able to see this listening on the port number we have 6667 on for version 4 and v6, at layer 3. <coughs> and now. From here, uh, I do want to show you with PS Aux, the default user is IRCD, so this is actually pretty secure. It's got uh, privilege separation. So that's what the process runs as, and if I look at at cmaster.passwd, on FreeBSD at least, if this was ever compromised, the uh, attacker, if they were logging in, they wouldn't get a shell. They would get non-existent. I mean, there's nothing there for them to execute. And even if there was, they don't have permission to run commands in the system. So that makes it a lot more secure for you, in case of those of you that were wondering. But from here, um, we're going to go ahead and run out to uh, the websites of my two favorite IRC clients and talk about how to get that set up. Then after that, we're going to verify our configuration. Alright, so the first IRC client I wanted to show you is XChat. 
Now, this is actually a GUI-based client, and it works on Windows and Linux. You can also get the source code. So it's also been ported to the BSDs and Mac, I believe. But this is uh, what you do here. You just download, double-click on Windows, and it will just execute. The other one is more of a command line based one. It's one of my all time favorites called IRSSI. And again, you can get them across all OSs as far as I'm aware. And um, it's, it has maybe a little bit more of a learning curve, but if you like the command line versus GUI, you would like this one better. But uh, those are the two clients, and you can either install them if you're on Linux and your package manager, or install them on Windows. So now, when you've chosen what client you want, we're going to go ahead and um, verify the configuration, connect to it, and verify that everything is working. Now, before we do that as well, one more client that's good is called MIRC or Merck. That's a good client for Windows as well if you prefer that one. So there's three for you. But let's go ahead and verify that our configuration does indeed work. All right, so now I chose uh, XChat here. I just changed my neck up there, as you can see. Before we connect to our server, let's turn on TCP dump on our server. Listening on that IRC port. All right. Now, we're going to go ahead and add another server. I'm going to call it TTEC. We're going to edit it and change from... This can be a domain name that has a full A record for it and everything on a DNS server. But we don't need that here. We're just going to type the IP address. All right. And then we're going to close. And now we're going to connect. Now, this is the main server we're connected to. And if we type commands here, like slash admin, it's going to send a command right to that server. And uh, if we want to join a channel or create one on our server, we do slash join, hashtag, and then let's say ttech. Now that told the server to make a channel, so a group of users on itself. You can set topics for channels and other things like that, but the server now has a channel on it that can have a group of users in it chatting, etc. So this is how we do it, and then if I do testing123 and hit enter, that actually goes into the channel, and I can see that because it is plain text, all right? I can see the user, and I can see testing123. Now, if I want to have another command on this uh, server, you can add modules. Now, to save time, I've already added the module, but we got module, name, in this case, user IP. So you just add modules like that. Very simple. What that does is it tells the server to run a query for the IP address of a username you specify. So if I do slash user IP, and then a username, then go back to the network tab of the server, it returns that user's IP. So it's just my local IP here, 192.168.0.103. But that is one of the modules. If you wanted the module for encryption, you could use the OpenSSL module for the INSPA IRCD client, the server, rather. But that's a little bit about how we set up IRC. Um, IRC is a huge topic. There's a lot you can do with it. But that is a basic setup of an IRC server on FreeBSD. And as always, this has been Tyler with T-Tech. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for viewing, and have a very nice day.